I had great teachers. I was so fortunate that I had the teachers I had. I had a teacher in seventh grade named Addie Holsing. She taught at Willard Junior High School. It was called Junior High School then in Berkeley, California. She won California Teacher of the Year uh, towards the end of her teaching career. She has retired, but she was an amazing person and she allowed the class I was in. It was a, an advanced English class. And the first day of class, there was a fire in the Berkeley Hills and everyone wondered what was happening with this fire and she said, she just on the spur of the moment said, let's make some phone calls, let's find out about the fire and let's write it down. Everyone, you're all reporters. I want all of you to write down what we know. And we did that. And then she went to the office and she printed out um, a, on the single sheet of paper a newspaper to, t to let kids know, here are the road closures. Here's what we know happened in this big fire. And the next day we went to class. And the kids were so excited to get that. The next day we went to class and she said, we created a newspaper yesterday. Let's keep doing that. And we did. We had the only daily newspaper in a middle school in California. And I have a letter to this day from Governor Brown. Now, not Governor Jerry Brown, Governor Pat Brown. And it's with a proclamation because I was one of the editors. What she did was she gave, thought she chose five kids. And these five kids each got a day of the week to be the editor. And so we worked every day on our edition. So I had the Friday paper. And I learned so much in that class about deadlines, about what was interesting to people. I had a daily paper. OK, it was only one page. But I had to produce material for it. I, I can't even say what that meant to me. So here was a teacher who took a class, converted it into something else, had the uh, wisdom to allow us to go into completely uncharted territory. That's the kind of teacher Addie Holsing was. I had other teachers that were, I had a teacher named Wayne Thompson. I thank him in Counting by Sevens. He'd been in the Peace Corps. He had a different way of looking at the world. And he taught us a class called Outdoor Education. And it, we went on the weekends, we learned about the outdoors, survival. I wrote a book called I'll Be There and I use some of the things in I'll Be There that I learned from Mr. Thompson. This class ended with us taking an eight-day backpacking trip. He, I don't know how he wasn't sued, he got four other student, or four other teachers and then with the class we went up into the mountains of Oregon. I learned more about independence, about um, strength. Now at that point I was still kind of small. I was beginning to grow. This was right in my growth spurt. I have pictures of me with this backpack that are hilarious. The backpack is as big as me. Um, I, I was just so lucky that I had teachers and librarians. When I went to middle school, we all had a homeroom. And we had a homeroom teacher. And I had the great fortune of having a woman named Mrs. Ted. Her last name was Ted, like the movie Ted, but with two Ds. And Mrs. Ted was the librarian. And that meant that my homeroom was the library. That, to me, was winning the lottery. So every day we started school by going to homeroom. So that meant every day I started by going to the library. And Mrs. Ted read the announcements, but she also told us the new books that were in the library. She, she loved reading, and she loved kids. And I was just so fortunate. My best friend, her homeroom, was um, in the shop. And so she said, you're sitting next to books and I'm sitting next to like a lathe or whatever. She was, she really felt like I got the good end of the deal. And I, I think I did too.